Alright, so welcome back here everybody. And we're going to be ready here now to go ahead and jump in the Maya to start doing um, the retopology work that we're going to have to go ahead and do um, in order to get our mesh to work properly. So in the last lesson where we left off is we had, and we gone and had and taken and done some of the Z mesh or uh, Z remesher retopology, which gave us a really decent mesh as you can see here. But what we need to do is we need to go ahead and decimate our original sculpt so that we have something that we can build that retopology on. So what we want to go ahead and do here We'll just go ahead and turn back on our original sculpt. Okay. Go ahead and turn off the polyframe here. Come down here to Z plugin. We're going to go ahead and use our decimation master. Okay. And we'll just take this down to something like 5% of the, um, the sculpt. So we go ahead and pre process the current. And depending upon how dense your mesh actually is, this could possibly uh, take a while to go ahead and do, but once it go ahead, um, goes ahead and actually calculates through, then you would just hit decimate current and it would give you a decimated mesh. So I'm not going to sit here and wait for that to go ahead and kick through. I'm just going to go ahead and I've already gone ahead and done this off screen. So as you can see, we're inside of Maya here. And we're using Maya 2011. It should be noted that with Maya 2014, the actual retopology tool from Nex, or you know what looks like Nex, is already integrated into Maya. So it's going to make it that much easier for you to go ahead and do the retopology. Now, what I want to go ahead and do here is just simply cut half of this model model off. Just make sure that I'm only cutting one side off. I'm not going to get any faces that I don't want here. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and hit delete. So now we have half of our mesh. I need to go ahead here and load our next tool for Maya. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and um, leave this here for the most part. So let's go ahead and bring back our decimated mesh. We'll just go ahead and select the objects in this layer. Okay, we're going to make the selected surface the sliding um, surface constraint, and then we're going to enable surface slide so that we can quad draw on this. Go ahead and select our um, retopologized mesh from ZBrush. Go ahead and hit quad draw. So now we're going to be able to go ahead and draw on here. And if we use our middle mouse button and drag, you can see where we can manipulate some of the vertices. So let's go ahead and start adjusting here with the tail, which I know it's going to need some adjustment here. And let me just change the color of this so we can see this just a little bit better here. Okay. And I'm just going to draw a different face here to give us a better layout. And I need to delete the bottom faces here. Okay probably that end face as we can see and I just want to try and draw this mesh out as well as I possibly can here okay go ahead and add some edge loops just so that we can um, get a clean topology for the model okay just trying to draw in the faces properly here Go ahead and delete that vertice. And you can see where in some cases this is going to be a little bit um, difficult to go ahead and draw that face in, but that's okay. Um, next isn't really a major problem here. This is just going to mainly be to be able to retopologize the mesh just that much simpler inside of Maya. Okay, so go ahead and try and draw out our geometry here. As you can see. 
see there. Just need to draw out the geometry in a way that it's going to fit the mesh just that much better. Yeah, I'll have to draw one here in the middle. So for the most part, there's your tail. I'll also go ahead and give you guys the um, wreath apologized mesh here as well. So now we just need to go ahead and draw out some of the vertices here for this just to make sure that this matches much cleaner. And definitely have to adjust some of the vertices here. So this definitely is going to have to get fixed. And I'm just working my way through and looking at the vertice points to see what's cleaned up here and what isn't actually good. Okay, let me just go ahead and move my next window off there. Okay, so all this is looking fairly snazzy here. We'll have to go ahead and definitely start working on the face here. Okay, so we need to make sure that we get the right geometry here for the eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete all of this stuff off because um, this isn't necessarily what I want in terms of the actual facial geometry. Okay, I want a specific round section. Okay, so with that said, I want to go ahead here and definitely adjust some of the verts. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and select the entire edge loop here. I'm going to go ahead and extrude, and I'm just going to go ahead and scale it in here, if it'll actually scale. Okay, go ahead and just return everything gray here. Just requad draw, and we'll just go ahead and start manipulating some of the vertices here so that we can um, get our eye topology correctly blocked in. Okay, just have to start moving some of this stuff over. And you can see where this really shouldn't be that difficult in terms of um, retopologizing your mesh, but you can see where it can be a little bit problematic or a little bit um, time consuming to go ahead and get all this stuff done properly, at least in a way that's um, going to work in the way it should be laid out here. Okay, so I need to. Okay, I'm just taking a look here at where our vertices are going to work here. So I definitely need to um, add a mesh point here, but I'm seeing where this is actually going to run, and I don't want that to run all the way down the body. Okay, so 
Let's take a look here. That looks like it's going to run around that spike, and I don't want that to do that. So we'll just adjust this up a little bit here. Because I wanted a, uh, an actual vertice point on the corner of the eye there. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab our innermost edge here. I'm going to go ahead and scale this in. So that it's going to be on the inside portion of the eye. Because I want to go ahead and close that off so that there's going to be no um, holes in the mesh. And that way no light or any, you're not going to get any light problems and any um, issues where <clears throat> the mesh isn't actually reacting and rendering well. Okay, so you can just see where I took and put those extra vertices in there. So we'll go ahead and just select this entire thing. And we'll go ahead and convert that to vertices. Go ahead and merge the center there. We'll just continue here working and adjusting some of our verts. And I'm just trying to match the underlying geometry as best that I can here. see where this is going to run that's going to run entirely down the body and I don't want to go ahead and do that so we'll leave that there for now and we'll simply just come in here and uh, you can delete the bottom ones here because this is how we're going to go ahead and make our mouth opening. So it looks like this. Just go ahead and pull this in. Move these up a little bit here. And I'm trying to match to make sure that our top vertices are going to match our bottom vertices here. But I don't want to go so close that whenever I mirror the actual geometry that these are going to um, get merged together. Even though the tolerance, I'll, I can set that to whatever I want. I just want to make sure that um, it's not going to be so close, like I said, that it, it, it's going to get merged. Okay. So that's looking decent right there. Just make sure that we go ahead and adjust the front one here. Okay. And that is looking um, really decent right now. So we're just going to have to do a little bit of retopology um, adjustment here. So let's go ahead and see what we're going to go ahead and do here. Go ahead and cut this off. Okay, we'll go ahead and cut, uh, we don't actually have to cut all those off, just this one. Go ahead and put that vertice in, and now that I have added that one, I want to make sure that I go ahead and add another one here. Okay, that might be a little bit too close to each other, so I want to try and even those out, so we're not going to get any, um, seams on our model and any pinching errors okay so we'll go ahead here and draw that in and I can probably go ahead and add a vertice there if I wanted to Okay. And I'll 
just have to adjust this a little bit more depending on how I actually want this drawn in. The ultimate goal here is just to make sure that everything um, is, like I said, going to work properly. So I know that I want this one here. And I'm just going to try and adjust these as well as I can here. Just trying to make sure that I get this laid out properly. Okay. can probably go ahead here and move these out just a little bit larger because I want to add another um, round of vertices in here so I can make sure that I maintain the the actual mouth shape a little bit better and we're gonna do this somewhat easy here So we will go ahead here and just extrude these in here. I don't want the entire edge loop for that. So we'll just go ahead and select these bottom edges as well. Okay, go ahead and extrude. And now you can see that we have that, whoops, forgot to actually select one of those edges that corner edge okay so now you can see where we have the uh, inner edge loop there we can go ahead and adjust this and bring these down so that these are going to match better and that way we have a actual corner shape to our mouth And we'll just need to adjust some of the verts here. I think that's this one yep so there now you see that we have our mesh pretty much drawn in there let me go ahead and X right here just so I make sure that I'm grabbing the right vertice and not anything that I don't want okay we'll go back to quad draw here And we'll go ahead and pull that vertice down. Take and pull that one up there. Okay, so now that we have our mesh pretty much drawn in here, um, I think we're ready to go ahead and uh, start working on the inside portion of the mouth and the mouth in general. Um, now, <clears throat> I'm not sure if I would ever be rigging this in this or anything so what we'll go ahead and do here is I'm gonna go ahead and call it an end for this lesson just making sure before I go ahead and do that all of our meshes here are fine um, probably have to adjust here a little bit on the tail but that's okay um, 
I just want to make sure that everything was fine. So in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and come back um, and we'll begin the process of actually working on what's going to be the inside portion of the mouth and the mouth in general so that we actually have a, um, a mouth shape just so that we, you know, if you wanted to go ahead and rig it and um, have an emote, you can go ahead and do so. So um, go ahead and come back and we'll continue working on the model.